Well, Cogburn, here's everything I use to catch the serial killer, bring home my mom, and basically embarrass your entire force. Oh, it takes more than that to embarrass us. But you ever feel like becoming a real detective, we could use you. You got a sharp brain. Thank you. That actually means a lot. Uh, yeah, almost like a man. I'm here with Thelma. Who's Thelma? This is Thelma. Your popularity is officially revoked, Daphne. Please update your status to loser across all social platforms. What? You can't be serious. Update your status to loser across all social... Welcome to exile. I'm out for two-timing the brains in the caves. Even the girl who pretends to be a cat won't talk to me anymore. Please, those girls don't decide if I'm popular. Society's obsession with looks does. My butt looks amazing. Hopefully this time nothing causes my implants to come out. So, after two years of searching, I had finally found my mom. They didn't come out, nice. Okay, clap, clap, group shower discussion of the day. Aren't you so over characters making dramatic entrances on TV shows? For sure. Totally. I like the quiet characters who don't get much to do. I actually love dramatic entrances. Velma? Yes, of course. Get them off! Get them off! Oh, well, wait, no. Keep them on. Oh, I can't ever repay you, so I won't. Now, did you check the watch for fingerprints or semen? No need. There's an inscription. Okay, but Daphne, it belonged to a serial killer. It's 100% caked in semen, and you're just like holding it in your hand. Our newest fragrance. Oh, I love that. What's it called? Smells like mommy. Oh, mm. Yes, it's terrible. Freddy named it. Oh no, Fred! What happened? Don't tell me your father's kinks are genetic. Uh, no, I was practicing getting swirlied and I must have passed out. I'm still the same old Velma. I didn't offer to load the dishwasher once while you were gone. So I haven't ruined your life? Your grades didn't suffer? You're still valedictorian? Uh... I wish Fred were a little more like you. You mean poor? Gross. To find the lab entrance, walk 32 steps. The jersey number of the great O.J. Simpson. Ugh, God, Dr. Perdue, could this journal be more dated? Now, look for the stone that is as perfect as Woody Allen and Mia Farrow's marriage. Wait, there it is. You mean I'm not just a diversity hire for the company photo shoot? No. See, Freddie doesn't listen to me, but yesterday you were able to coax him back to being popular like... A modern-day Ann Sullivan. A celebrity dog trainer. Just saying, if white people are now the minorities on campus... <laughs> I'm a teddy bear. I'm named after Theodore Roosevelt, a wealthy demagogue who massacred indigenous people in the name of imperialism. <laughs> Velma, I'm sorry, but this video of your talent show isn't making me happy enough to remember anything else. Oh, sorry, Howie Mandel. Velma, she's getting upset and losing her memories. Quick, make her feel good by telling her she's more attractive than her sister. She's freaking out and forgetting everything. Like when Al Pacino tries to return to the stage. Oh, is that what the doctor said? <gasps> Kidding. Amnesia joke, which I can make because I have it. But amnesia's curable, right, Doc? All we need is a ladder and a coconut. 99% of the time, yes. Hey, no offense, but can we just let the actual doctor explain? Just being a white guy with a clipboard doesn't cut it anymore. Sorry, your insurance only covered the diagnosis and the applesauce. What do you mean you didn't send a car? Oh, God! Ugh. Fine, you sent a limo. Yes, I know the difference, you asshole. I was thinking we always got more attention as a couple than as individuals, like J-Lo and Ben or Avocado and Toast. Or drinking and boats. Exactly. Just until you're popular enough to do whatever you want, like a homophobic chicken sandwich chain. <laughs> I love their love. My glasses. I hope this doesn't keep happening. You're like if Michael B. Jordan had a baby with leggings. You know I legally can't be alone with a child after I ate my health class egg baby. If you stop rolling, I'll stop trying to sell you on the dark web. Oh, phew. 
Why would you tell your mom the baby is yours? She's already had an unwanted baby in her life. Because we have to protect her memory, and anything's better than learning your husband cheated on you the instant you were kidnapped. It wasn't the instant she was kidnapped. It was six weeks. My best reporter, Wu Jin, just accidentally named a source in his life story, and I fired his ass with the harshest words I know. Best of luck with all your future endeavors. Damn. And while I know it can never make up for having abandoned you twice, please consider us even for the $10 I took from your locker? Ugh. Quick, find the button that makes the bucket go up. It doesn't work like that. We have to climb. I see. So I guess I just live down here now? I was overcome by another huge memory. Was it where you put the TV remote? It's been two years of living hell. Normal, have you seen Velma? She wasn't at the pep rally, and you know how much she loves knocking over cheerleader pyramids. Sorry, Daff, but I'm just too tired of Velma's bullshit to care where she is. Marvel never swears. Oh, my God. Ugh, great. My phone's dead. Now I can't call back Norville or order Thai food. Wow! Officers, arrest me. I've committed the only crime worse than eating ethnic food on an airplane. Don't care until your mom is removed from our custody and goes to death row. Your presence here is like a condom in a porno. Not wanted. But would you arrest her if someone like me said someone like her was bothering him? Well, yeah, that would do it. the way a cool-ass boss bitch like myself deserves to be. And I'm falling off the wall. Don't donate my body to science! I can't sleep, Dad. Have you tried marijuana?